Another developing story we're following tonight. In the American West, an oil spill near Billings, Montana. Federal and state officials are assessing the damage after an ExxonMobil pipeline buried under a riverbed ruptured, polluting the river with tens of thousands of gallons of crude oil. We get the latest from NBC's Aditi Roy. Containment booms dot the banks of the Yellowstone River in southern Montana. A 12-inch ExxonMobil pipeline ruptured just before midnight Friday. This is a very unusual event. Uh, obviously, we have a large amount of oil um, enter the water very quickly. The spill is 150 miles northeast of Yellowstone National Park in the town of Laurel, Montana, and near the end of a 55-mile pipeline. The water flowing away from Yellowstone Park has carried the oil past the city of Billings. The extent of the environmental damage remains unclear. Local wildlife officials restored water to the town overnight Friday, and Exxon officials assessing the spill from the air insist ground crews are safe. We have not had any safety issues with any of the people or the responders. We also know that air quality is a concern to many people. Uh, we began an air quality monitoring right after the incident, and I want to confirm that we have not found any readings that would be of any danger to the public. Officials speculate that debris carried by high water from spring runoff may have caused the rupture, and already images of wildlife slicked in oil are prompting advocacy groups to question federal safety regulations. There's very little to indicate that the conditions that caused the failure uh, were ones that should not have been anticipated by the pipeline operators. The spill comes almost a year after the conclusion of the BP oil disaster, which poured about 200 million gallons of oil into the Gulf. Exxon says up to 42,000 gallons of oil leaked into the Yellowstone River, but swift moving water may make the oil difficult to collect. Aditi Roy, NBC News.